For the LLIB 1115 class, your final project is an annotated bibliography. Throughout the semester, you have gathered sources on a research topic that you will compile into one document. Most of you are familiar with bibliographies. They are lists of sources gathered for a purpose and are usually on a specific topic. Consider them a helpful resource for someone starting a research project on a topic they know little about, but how helpful is a list of sources without comments about them? The annotations are comments about each source, so the new researcher can select the sources appropriate for their research. Many times, annotations are paragraphs to describe the credibility and relevance of the article, but I have asked you to provide statements to assess each source using the score assessment system and a relevance comment. Your search strategy is important as well. Finding sources is not always easy, so explain your process for each source. However, all annotated bibliographies begin with an introduction to the topic that describes the research goal and stimulates interest in the topic. You wrote an introduction essay on your topic early in the research process, just after reading the encyclopedia articles for background information. In your introduction, you are to pique curiosity, stimulate awareness, and or create a passion and generally just stir up some interest in your topic. Why should anyone care about what you have to address? And for many topics, as researchers, you will become an expert on your topic and may need to provide some background information for your audience to understand the issue at hand. In addition, you will ask three questions that will be addressed in the body of your research. Leave your readers hanging wanting to learn from your research. After you have located all your sources, you may want to revise your introduction essay. You may have revised or refined your topic, and research is often modified as you learn about your topic. Review your essay and make any adjustments necessary to describe the final research project, including changes to your research questions. For each source, Provide your search strategy. Since we have used a variety of databases and the Internet, describe what was effective to locate credible and relevant sources on your topic. Include the name of the database, the search terms or the search statement, and the tools in the database used to narrow or refine your results. Also, what features of each source factored into selecting it for your research. For each citation, assess the source for credibility using the score assessment. Make sure you make a general comment about the total credibility score. Is it worth using for this project? For the relevance comment, consider how this source will contribute to your research. Summarize the content, paraphrase the results of the research, and the lessons learned through the material presented. As you compile your results, you may find a source that you have decided is not credible or relevant to your topic. That is part of the purpose of this class, to help you realize there are sources not appropriate for college-level research. If that is the case, find another source that is credible and relevant. You know how. However, if this source is a required source, talk to Professor Gray. You may need to include it anyway to demonstrate your ability to cite that source type. Throughout the semester, you have submitted sources with the score assessment, so you should have the sources already. Remember that the purpose of this class is to learn research strategies to locate sources, but also to cite them correctly and to assess them, noting the characteristics of credible sources. So, it is important for you to include the required sources of an encyclopedia article, journal article, magazine article, a book or a book chapter, and .gov and .org websites for citation and assessment purposes. Also, you need to have the opportunity to independently select sources, so select nine other sources from the ones that we have looked at so far in the semester, but you may add others. 
the score assessment and relevance comment are your justification for including each source in your annotated bibliography, so make sure they are worthy. Start your annotated bibliography with a title. I suggest the title of the would-be research project. Then make sure the pages are numbered with a brief title on each page. This is called a running head. A title page is not necessary. Simply begin with the introduction essay, double-spaced with one-inch margins. Put your sources in alphabetical order of the first word of the citation, usually the author's last name, with the citation, then the search strategy, the score assessment, and relevance comment for each. The type of source should be clear from the citation format, but if you need to clarify the source type, put that information in the search strategy. As you look at this large document, before submitting it in Moodle, check for consistency. Make sure that for each source you have labeled the search strategy, score assessment, relevance comment, and put an extra space between each of those sections. That helps to keep them separate. Also put an extra return or a line space after each relevance comment and before the citation for the next source. And check for overall consistency. Make sure the entire document uses the same font and margins. Use of bold type is appropriate for search terms and headings, but make sure they are used consistently or not at all. There is an example posted on Moodle from a previous student that has given me permission to share their annotated bibliography. As always, please be sure to use it with scrutiny. They have shared their work for your benefit. Please don't share it with other students inappropriately. As always, if you want my assistance, please contact me.